The fallout over that white supremacy rally in Charlottesville has continued to grow since Saturday, but we wanted to take a step back and look at why they were in Charlottesville in the first place. The protest happening over the removal of a Robert E. Lee statue there. And while the Bay Area has had some issues over monuments here, it certainly has not hit that level yet. And our producers wanted to know how many more monuments there are here in the state of Florida. Jenny, you've got that answer. Yeah, I do. A research team, they got on it, spent most of yesterday looking around and found that there are 31 Confederate era monuments, memorials and parks all across Florida. Jacksonville is leading with five, but they decided to dig even deeper. Of the 67 counties in Florida, seven of them are named after Confederate era historical figures, one of them in our area, Pasco County. It is named after Samuel Pasco. He was a soldier in the Army of the Confederate States of America, and he was also a senator. Now, when it comes to schools, let me fix this here. See if I can get that to move. When it comes to schools, there are at least 188 public and charter schools in the country named after Confederate leaders, and that's according to the National Center of Education Statistics. Of those 188, six are named after Confederate area leaders in Florida, one of them right here in the Bay Area, Robert E. Lee Elementary School in Tampa Heights. But there is a push to rename that school. Now, it's likely there are more schools because not all schools with the name Lee in it could be directly linked to Robert E. Lee. Now, we also wanted to look into roads in Florida, so check out this map. We found 117 roads that are named after a Confederate era figure. The dots you see on this map, check them out, those represent those roads. Now, let me give you a closer look at the map. You can see it a little better here. The dots are literally all over the state of Florida. And this is just some of the research that our uh, researchers were able to do in a day. Now, the Confederate monuments that being in public places, the descendants of uh, Robert E. Lee are actually speaking out now, and they say it is time for the monuments to come down. The general's great, 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 great nephew, Robert Wright Lee IV, told the Huffington Post, quote, these statues have morphed into a symbol of racism, a symbol of bigotry, a symbol of the alt-right, a symbol of white nationalist movements. That is not okay, and that can never be celebrated or honored in any way, whether you believe you should honor legacy or ancestors or not. And locally, that fight has centered around, of course, the memorial outside of the Hillsborough County Courthouse, but St. Pete has its own Confederate marker. So check this out. This plaque honoring Stonewall Jackson has been at the intersection of Central Avenue and Bayshore Drive since 1939. No more. Yesterday, the city made the decision to remove it. Mayor Rick Kreisman told the Tampa Bay Times that while this plaque hasn't drawn the same attention or emotion that other statues and monuments have, it does not need to sit on public land and serve as a flashpoint in this national debate. Now, with everything that's going on, Rob, of course, Governor Rick Scott is weighing in. He's already preparing for a possible white nationalist rally to come to Florida, specifically right. in Gainesville next month. As you know, the Tampa Bay Times reporting that Scott called the heads of the National Guard, the Department of Highway Safety, just in case the university allows Richard Spencer to come here and speak. And the governor has even already spoken with uh, University of Florida's president about the possibility of they that. They were kind of keeping an eye on whether or not that escalates, but I heard about the same thing. Both seem to agree that they want to uphold the First Amendment, but neither support the message there. And Jenny, what a, uh, my hat's off to our research team. So much information there, and it's amazing. It's turning into an issue of all or nothing with these monuments, streets, and everything like that. We're going to have to see where it goes. Yep. Thank you.